Okay, so first things first, I will start generating the UAA component. The reason why I do this is because the gateway and the conference will require this one to do authentication. And when generating the projects, jhipster will prompt me for the location of, of this project first. So it does make sense to, to start with this one. In order to do so, I'm going to open up a terminal window where I've already created a, a sandbox for, for this project where I'm going to store all my components. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for this component and I'm going to CD into it and then, gen, then just run the jhipster generator. The type of application that I want to create uh, is actually a jhipster UAA server. Then I'm going to name UAA, um, which is going to run on the default port. The package name is going to be this one. I'm going to use the jhipster registry, a SQL database, MySQL for production, H2 for development. I'm going to use cache as well. It's going to be a Maven project, no additional technologies. I'm going to say no to this one, no additional testing, and no additional marketplace generators. So now we have all the code that we need. The next step would actually be to generate the CI CD pipeline. To do so, I'm going to use the sub generator called CI CD which I'm just going to run in the folder location. I'm just going to choose GitLab CI and I will use a container for this one. And I would like to actually analyze my code using Sonar, but I just have to be careful that I need to add a variable, an environment variable that's called Sonar token to my CI service, uh, which I'm going to do uh, in just a minute. I'm going to use Sonar Cloud and my organization is going to be called jhipster-poc and we're done. Let's just open up the file and see what jhipster outputted. As you can see we have a lot of stages and a lot of jobs that are associated to those stages such as build, running the tests, running the sonar analysis, packaging it up and then actually pushing it to a Docker registry. This is commented out, but I will uncomment this because I actually want this to be pushed to a Docker registry. By default, this is actually pushed to GitLab's registry, which is fine. I'll just save this. And then I would like to actually set up the variable on, on my project. So in order to do this, I'll go back to GitLab and under settings CI CD I will go to variables and I will add here sonar token in order to get a token from sonar cloud you need to go to their website you go to your account and then you click on security you enter the name and you just generate a new token then you just copy the value paste it in and click save and that's pretty much it okay next thing I want to do is I actually want to add want to link my local folder to, to this GitLab project okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add everything I'm just gonna commit initial commit and I'll just add the remote and I will push everything to that remote master takes a few minutes okay okay so everything's now set to master okay but th there is one issue that I, I want to actually go through so currently uh, 
let's just refresh it and we can actually see that the job the, the pipeline has kicked up kicked off okay there, there is one issue that I want to point out uh, that you should be you should pay attention to when using sonar cloud like the free version so uh, I've named my project uh, UAA which is a very common name so there is already is a project on sonar cloud .io that's named UAA and I'm actually gonna get um, a failure for for this uh, for this uh, phase the reason because the reason why that's happening is because I'm not authorized to run a sonar scan on that project which makes sense so in order to overcome this issue I will go to my sonar project properties and I'm just gonna change the, the key over here and I'm just gonna do my name dash UAA okay so let's just add that committed M change sonar key and I will push this again okay let me just refresh this Okay, let's just go back and yeah, we should actually, I think it's safe to cancel this one because it will, will fail for sure and it doesn't make any sense to use the compute power. Okay, so that's it for setting up the UAA server. Next, we're going to set up the, the conferences microservice.